Oh, there's Joe. Okay. And I, uh, Ooh. Oh, that was fast. Look at that. Blammo. I repainted the office, so my everything's different. No guitars. Uh, you're, on, you're on the other side, aren't you? You're facing... Yeah, the... I'm facing the wall, yeah. Oh, well. And well, no slightly, extra lighting. <clears throat> mine's slightly different because I have Christmas decorations now just in time. Now that it's after Christmas. And you can hear me? Check, check, check. Yeah. Then the road, then the road. <laughs> schmo, schmo, this schmo. This is an all new setup <laughs> here at, at the WJOE Studios. It's a sneak it's, peek of 2021. It's a new laptop. How's the, how's the, how's it look? Yellow. Similar to the iPad? A much brighter. I know. I you get a lot of, to... it's, it's. No, no, it's good. It's not grainy like the old days on the laptop. I know that I could tell that. Right. I mean, I'll inspect it. iPad might even be better, but I've been using the iPad the last couple of times. I could put you guys. I might got thumb rocking three screens. I got well, I got Mike on the big screen. <laughs> but I'd be like this. <laughs> so woo. <clears throat> I'm actually down to just the laptop. I, I don't have my full setup here in the office. I just repainted the thing. Oh, wow. so I don't even have. I just pulled the laptop and threw it on the desk. Oh, that's, that's right. I'm not got. seeing the guitars or. No, it's all different. Whole different room now. No, he just doesn't have his same old room. You want to say hi, Kate? And then let's. Hey, Kate. Merry Christmas. I was lucky. Okay, well, lucky you can say hi. Yeah, there's a lot of yellow going on, isn't there? It's okay. There, it's okay. Let them go. The, My colors are off too. I'm way too get pink. It. It's okay. We'll do it later. It looks Come like on, I'm buddy. wearing a pink shirt, but it's actually orange. Come, Come here. Seriously? That looks yeah. pink. He doesn't want to. Here, maybe. Wow. I'll, I'll get, please. I'll do my magic trick where I get closer to the light. See if that changes. Can you leave, my, no, that's can not you leave it work. alone? That's not going to work. Okay, come here. There. No, it okay. still looks pink. Uh, all right, so he can say hi, and then we can get. Still oh, there. There's Lucky. He had devil eyes for a minute. There, there. There you go. Woo! He is so, right. He's a hellhound. So lucky. I found some uh, tricks in in the settings, so I can do this now. Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice and seasonal. And uh, this lasts, this oh. goes all year round. <laughs> nice. And I can bring this back in September for Talk Like a Pirate Day, which is the 19th or 29th or something like that. I know it has a nine in there. And I thought this was pretty cool too, uh, this one, where I'm in a movie theater. <laughs> it's like mystery science theater. It is pretty good. <laughs> but now I can heckle the audience. <laughs> there. Nice. That's my fun. I just discovered those. They might be brand new because I did an update right before uh, recording. So they could be brand spanking new, but I don't know. I really haven't checked the settings in a while. I've never even tried. All righty. <laughs> there he goes. Joe's out of this world. Joe's a well, ghost. I was just, this didn't work be, at all before. But oh, it's working so good now. Yeah, I know. Look at the it. filters are the tab right next to the backgrounds, if you want to try those. Where it says video background, right next to that should be video filters. Okay, here we go. So since you have it, it suggests that it wasn't a brand new thing that I just got today. Well, you know, I have to download the stuff in the Santa one too. Oh, really? Oh, oh, maybe. Uh... I just I'm downloading one and yeah, yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> okay, you know, it's kind of like I'm my Christmas hipster. present. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least I see this is working. See, it didn't really work with my other laptop. 
but I don't want. How can I stop this? Just <laughs> click none at the top. Oh, left. there it is. Ah, oh, messed up your hair. <laughs> there. Now you don't have a little devil horn sticking I up. Do have a little. <laughs> oh well. It's been a long day. <laughs> it's supposed to be pencil thin. <laughs> yeah, get a pencil thin. There is there is a pencil thin mustache in there, kinda. Oh, there's da, the, da, da, there da, you go. Da, na, na, na. You could do Shark Jaws Adam. <laughs> this is that's the cartoon Shark Jaws Adam. <laughs> uh, uh. Interesting. Anyway, that's why, the, that's why people tune in see some middle-aged guys discover <laughs> yeah, discover <laughs> snap, the, you know chat software. You yeah. ever hear of that Snapchat on the online? <laughs> <laughs> You use it with Lotus One and Two and Three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that goes way back. <laughs> that, that's a tainted joke. <laughs> I say middle uh, age when I really mean senior citizens. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I like the middle age. I can see the. And it's all coming down in a couple of days. There's so the... depressing. There's the leg lamp. Oh, oh, and Joe's wearing his mom's sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah, it's my Vitasky shirt. I saw his. Uh, I don't feel like changing. <laughs> I know what his, I'm saying. But... His lady's sweatshirt. Oh, <laughs> it's very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it's warm <laughs> and yellow. Uh, but what uh, what tequila did you get, Mike? It's a Corzone um, single barrel uh, añejo. From Superfine. <laughs> from Superfine. Yeah, they had their own barrel. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. This is from Lenny. Hooked me up. It's pretty good. It's not. It's no addictivo, but it's pretty good. <laughs> I'll never forget. I had Corzone Blanco at your house. And I always say this whenever I see a bottle of Corzone. And I had that set, that wooden set, right? With the little bottles and Mickey. He just went like, he looked at the bottle and went, the white heart of Mexico. Oh. <laughs> and it, I say that every time in Mickey's <laughs> accent, Mickey's Mexican accent. Treasure <laughs> Sierra Madre. So this is the aged heart of Mexico. Yeah. From Mexico's heart, <laughs> I'd spit at thee. But it's not It's not like super dark like a lot of Añejos are. It looks like a Reposado. But it's, uh, but the, is, it's it the, is it that round bottle? Ooh. No, no, it's a regular bottle, okay. like the other Heart of Mexico <laughs> bottles. <laughs> I could bring it out for some show and tell later. What's what's everybody drinking right now? Well, you know, I gotta go oh, get a drink. Yeah, so maybe it's time to get a drink and then start the. Oh, cool. Oh, I yeah. saw that. I didn't buy any. Why did I buy any? So what's that got in it? What's this is a white ale. Buttons? I like it a lot. It's really good. Good stuff. I uh, I've got an empty one by me, but I need to refill it. All right, Ooh. well let's we can start this thing. I'm gonna go Irish get a red. shred and then find out the, the Killian's best. Irish. Red. We can Is that start. Irish? It sounds Scottish. Killian's? No. I no, I meant my accent. Irish. Oh, that who knows? I think my accent was more Scottish than Irish. I don't know. Well, I started without you guys, so my bottle's empty, so I have to go get another one. Oh, wow. I'm just, this is my first sip. <laughs> I had it here ready. All right. Well, I guess let's start this baby off. It's look, uh look at the calendar. The year is still 2020. It's New Year's Eve, Eve, the 30th of December in your wasteland, on the North Coast with Amigo Schmo drinking Irish beer. And Mike with a cold snap. And Mickey with an Irish beer. American for me. Yeah. But is this American? But uh, from a from a town that's that's very well known for being Irish. <laughs> <laughs> but it's American. Yeah. 
Can't tell. Can't read it. Anyway. So, here's our third episode about songs you don't know by heart. <laughs> Did we you have homework that I assigned and that. forgot all about? You didn't do the homework? Because I remember to do it this afternoon. Yeah, wait, I, was, I did mine this afternoon. Wait, what was the homework? Oh, okay, that I no, guess no, maybe I already did not. Did, it was what was it? Say it. You had to pick your own songs, your own. Uh, oh God, volume I didn't two. do it for good old songs, volume two. I mean, I started doing that. I know. All and right. then you guys, I my homework was just to pick a song that you wanted for volume two. Then you guys decided to pick a song from each decade. And I didn't do that. I did. Well, did we want to make sure we covered? Uh, we went into 2000, right? Yeah, because or the only, 90s, something Jimmy like that. Jimmy only did one 2000 song for the album, and it was a song that they put on the album and wasn't part of the list. So it's like they felt so bad about this century that they had to include one song off it or from it. So, uh, who wants to go first? <laughs> Not me, but hey, see, I started <laughs> hey, with notes. I'm well, looking at my thing. While Joe I, tries to do his homework right now, yeah, I'm going to right. finish it today. I uh, last week um, I mentioned, or whatever, whenever the show was, um, I mentioned that I thought "Distantly in Love" would be a great song for Volume Two, and I also, um, from that same era, even though this era was well covered with Volume One, I also thought he could do "If the Phone Doesn't Ring, It's Me." And Last Mango in Paris. I thought those would be pretty cool, just solo songs, him doing them solo. And Agreed. I also put, I also put that's what living is to me. But that song is pretty much already Jimmy solo with just the saxophone. But still, it'd be it'd be cool to hear him do a new version of that. Mm -hmm. That's me for the 1980s. Shall I continue, or do you wanna? Jump. Ah, just here's my song for the 1990s. The only song I came up with for the 1990s was Six String Music because I remember when that song was released, everybody was bitching about how come it wasn't just Jimmy with his guitar? How come it the whole band? It's just it's a song about just a guitar. Why does it have all these other instruments in it? And everybody was complaining how that song on Fruitcakes was overproduced. So I'm thinking, here's your chance to record six string music with just six strings. So that's my 1990s song. So anybody else want to take it for the 90s? Uh, I didn't really do the decades thing, but I can go through my list and just off the top of my head, see if I could pick anything from the 90s. Okay. And um, I have exactly nothing from <laughs> the 90s. Cool. You can start <laughs> the 2000s then. Unless, wait, 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 nope. Nope, nothing. And I got nothing from two thousands. Oh, fact, really? Mine. Let's see. That's. I don't think I have anything. Any new where I have, have uh, California promises? That's eighty. Three. Right? Eighty two or whatever. Eighty two. That's eighty three. Eighty three. So that's about as new as I get. California wow. promises. Wow. I'm distantly in love. That's the. That <laughs> Once he got me into Buffett, he's 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 not counting any song after that. No. And I got, I might as well, I don't have that many more, so I'll just rip through these. Um, sure. And they're all old anyway, so Survive, that mm. one, that would that'd be a good one, I think. Uh, and yeah, he, and on guitar, too. They'd be interesting to hear on guitar. Yeah, yeah, and he rarely plays it. I, I'd, it'd be interesting to see when the last time was. Um, we saw it at uh, Panam. He did it for us. It was the encore song, or at least one of the last songs. Yeah, so, you know. I don't know if it was the last song, but. Very, uh. Actually, I think very it was. rare. Um, uh, African friend. Mm -hmm. Other yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry. I wonder I if Jimmy's down. disavowed that song because he never talks about it. Or right. Sings it. Right. But we've always kind of liked it. Right. I mean, we. It's it's kind of you know, it's been a a go to. Yeah. I have a photo somewhere. I don't, you know, I don't know if I might try to find it, of us sitting with Greg singing the song <laughs> and it was probably mickey's photo now they say this so if i don't have it mickey has it where we're all got his our arms around him and we've swaying back and forth but i think someone took a photo of that moment mickey i'm sure i don't think so i, don't oh, really? think so. I, <laughs> I see else. mickey muted his burp that's very kind of you <laughs> <laughs> uh 
moving on, um, I have Island. Oh, yeah. I think that one would be great on there. And uh, it's more, here's one more fast paced, but you know what? This, he needs to do it. Livingston Saturday night. Mm. He, oh, that, it could be, it. it could be fast paced. I would agree right. with that. I did not, yeah, well, I did not think of that one. I don't I, have a nice list. I had a few I wrote down and I stopped doing it. I'd want it to be hard, more hard rocking than just acoustic guitars. No, I think that it'd be cool. It'd be a cool take on it, I think. And uh, it's, it's a, uh, Definitely I could not. see it. I would love him to do it and do it and Rancho Deluxe a couple of well, that other verse that's in there, or yeah. the way he does the chorus, doesn't he? He does it different, right? Yeah, I think it's a, a little different... raunchier. Yeah, I think it's a little bit raunchier. I yeah, so that'd be good. And then um, I have wonder why we ever go home. Wow, you really did stick. I stayed, <laughs> and and you know what? I I started. I I looked at ballads, you know, from boats, beaches, bars, ballads. Because I, there's so much on there that I like, and a bunch of these are on ballads. Mm. Yeah, well, that's I, that's his secret strength is ballads. Yeah. Well, I stuck true with the original uh, rules and my 2000 <laughs> songs. I picked "Someday I Will," but I don't know if I really want him to do that. Um, I'm thinking a better song, just so not all my songs are going to be slow is far side of the world. Just an acoustic version of far side of the world. I thought that'd be really, that would work out really well. That's from 2002. And another song that you could do from 2009 is wings from Buffett buffet hotel, buffet hotel. It's tough to say. So, uh, cause I listened to that earlier just to make sure if it would work. And I thought, yeah, this would, this would work really well. Just Jimmy on his guitar and to jump to the next decade, the 2010s, my song would be tides from songs from St. Somewhere, which is 2013. Oh, wow. You would say uh, in there. Yeah. It's not all that well, uh, well played. That's not what I meant. Not played that often. But it's a good song. I like it a lot. And about the only 2020 songs are from the new album. And I couldn't find any that I really wanted him to play for a song you don't know by heart volume two. And the other thing that that uh, that held me back is I was I was um, limiting it to songs that Jimmy's written, not just songs that Jimmy's played or recorded. These are songs that he either wrote solo or had a hand in writing. So that's why I might not have picked songs that other people might have gravitated toward. Cause that was my limitation was songs that he wrote. Oh, well, I scratched out a few that, cause I was really trying to find newer ones at first and then I kind of stopped, but I wasn't really thinking of that. Cause I scratched out like weather. I was looking for newer ones, weather with you and, uh, even uh, hey, good looking, just him. Mm. But from Far Side of the World, I always like Savannah Fare Thee Well. Mm-hmm. But I don't know, and I like that. That may I guess I put that and Bra- um, Barefoot Children mm. from Barometer Soup. And there's the I believe then that covers the 2000s and the 90s. Those two. But you know I can see him. Just, but I can see him just strumming and doing a "Hey, good looking" thing for Hank Senior kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But of course, he didn't write that. So, looking in the two uh, thousands, how about uh, uh, "Oldest Surfer on the Beach"? That'd be a good one. And in fact, there was just a mention of it on on Facebook here. Might have been yesterday or today. He posted a little video or something. Oh, really? Referencing that song. Yep. That would get my vote. <laughs> and then, well, since you stuck here in the seventies, I did. I stuck, I... <laughs> except for that eighty-three. <laughs> you know that modern. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I'm I'm looking at some of the uh, some of the newer things. Um, Cinco de Mayo in Memphis. That's I like that one. Well, the one I the the song that didn't make the album, but it made the original documentary 
was wino and I know. So I would want that on. Right? I mean, yeah. That isn't on the album. You're That's the one they skipped. It. He's demanding yeah. it. I want my money back. It was, it was, he did that with Delaney, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. This is already been so, established. Your noise canceling headphones are too effective. <laughs> <laughs> But that definitely would have to be on. Speaking of the album, I have yet to receive my copy. Oh, oh no God. way. That's I ridiculous. Should, I should show you or go through the. Uh... Well, it you know, the, the, mail is, the mail is screwed up. I ordered it on the day after Thanksgiving, which was the 27th or 28th or something. It left Texas, went to Dallas, went to Pittsburgh on the 3rd left Pittsburgh, reached Detroit on the 19th. So it took 16 days to get from Pittsburgh to Detroit. Um, it arrived in Detroit twice on the 19th and the 21st, left on the 21st, arrived in, our lo in my local post office the same day, and then re-arrived on the 30th, which is today. This, this is I've just this is I'm I, I'm just seeing this that it rearrived in the po at the post office this morning, and now it's expected to be delivered tomorrow. Hmm. It's very well traveled. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like a watch band. I ordered a watch band, or I don't know. It was I ordered something from Virginia, and instead of going up, it went to Florida, and then came back up. I'm going out so for a few days. Like and then came <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like going to Detroit. So it went. What's funny beach. is like spoiler alert. You're probably not getting it tomorrow. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's taken over a month. It's taken over. Well, you know a now that I, I didn't notice before. anything, but I just got your Christmas card, Mike. Thanks, like yesterday. Oh, he, you know what I got? I just got one from <laughs> my sister yesterday, and she lives two minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm doing my homework now a little bit, I and feeling... I would I'm going to throw in Landfall. Hmm. That I would love to just have him do Landfall. Um, again, different than that. Old. Different. Yeah, like, you know, I was old. going. I was going through from the bottom <laughs> after I went from the top, and I had a couple. Like I, well, I'll skip one or where we ever go home, and then. Uh, but I, you know, there was no more from Havana Daydreaming that I would need on a song you don't know by heart. You know, there's good songs on that, but that, that whole, uh, you know. I picked the title chose... track. Oh, God dang it. You're right. That's what it started this all like last week. Havana Daydreaming. Okay. Scratch that. Reverse yeah. it. <laughs> but no, I would love that. We talked. That's what started this last week or last time last week. Havana Daydream. And also the fact that there are so many old songs on the album, and then Mike took that as encouragement to come up with more old songs. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> there aren't enough old songs. That was that was tough, though, picking out songs of uh, more recent songs. I hate to say it, because I'd like to think that Jimmy can write tons of great songs, but it really, it's hard to escape the fact that the best ones are the earliest ones. Yeah, that's, I don't know. It's hard to make a case the against any of the, ones. the ones that on my list. Those are all. Right, I mean, well, that's what he was really writing and yeah. stuff too. I mean, And of course, my rules were against me because I was going for songs that he wrote and it seems like he's just recording a lot of songs that he's, he's like throwing a bone to, to modern day songwriters and performing their stuff instead of just concentrating on his own songs. And but Sunder, that's how it is. I mean, he's older, he's rich. You know, you don't have that. I mean, if you don't find something else to write about, or uh, and you don't have that angst, you know, uh, he's not as any. He, he was a little political at one point. He's not anymore. You know, so that's just how that's just how it would be. Mike picked a good one with Island. And yeah. from that album, I would love them to do Weathers Here, Wish You Were Beautiful. Or you could make a case for Incommunicado, but that's already a nice, it's more of a duet. So I could see Weathers Here. 
which is really a ballad in that it's a story and it's cool. And I will continue. <laughs> I'm doing my homework. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Drink amongst yourselves. Yeah, I'm down to 47 minutes. Now, when we started, I had I had like two hours. Now, Distantly in Love, along with Vanna Daydream, it was something I scratched down last week. So, but we, one of you guys already picked that. Yeah, in fact, twice. both of us said that. And California Promises, you did too, right? Mm -hmm. you know? Although, I think that is a Steve Goodman, isn't it? Yep. That's solo Steve. Oh, yeah, it is. Yes, that is. But I still want it on there. I would love the uh, Take Another Road mm. would be another. We're trying to find newer ones right now. That's new? <laughs> I mean, newer <laughs> than Joe considers that's, that's new. newer than anything Mike had well, yeah, by, that's by true. five years. That's true. That <laughs> is true. Years. It's not on 78s. But that's a, you know, that's about it. I mean, I, 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 you know, we distantly in love would be on my thing. And I yeah, there's one. Good See, one. we all agree. In communicado, though, I would love. I mean, again, it's already a, it is like a duet. So is Island. But uh, yeah, but if if I mean, part of it is, it's got to be something that he rarely plays, and I think those qualify. Yeah, and I'm struggling. Like, do I want to have another album like this? I do. But at the same time, I, do I want another set list like that? You know, another intimate concert playing those songs along with the big six or eight or whatever. You know, that's what I'm thinking. I want to hear these. There's some good stuff that people don't realize that's back there. Yeah, I'm curious what uh, the videos in this album are doing for his newer fans. If they're... Uh... If their, to eyes watch. Are, if their eyes are being opened and they're they're checking out the older albums, that uh, there won't be quite the line for the restroom when he does a ballad in 2021 than there was in the past because people be more aware of these yeah. songs. That was he went to Paris when we first saw him. All right, I'm going to get a refill. And apparently I have to get my battery charger because I'm down to less than 30 minutes. It's ridiculous. I started with two hours. Well, it lied. It hasn't been that long. It's been an hour 30. Still, it's lying. So you got 30 it minutes is. Left. Been, I'm going to get a refill, too. I think your, your battery indicator is perfectly accurate. Now I'm going to go to the bathroom. There we go. Sixteen. Wow. Plugged in and charging. Nice. Wow. Cool. And then here's my single barrel on Yale. Wow, yeah, yeah, it, wait, it looks that light. Wait, it looks to me like Blanco. Yeah. On camera right now. Yeah. No, it looks like a Reposado, but it's an Yale. Yeah, I mean, right now. Wow. I got a bottle of uh, Richard Gears tequila. <laughs> a big <laughs> bottle. A big bottle of Reposado. So that's cool. That was good I like, stuff. I like that. I like that stuff. stuff. I did. I got it from the uh, bottom of it. I got it from the grandkids' mom. I just love Joe's grandmotherly sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you should be offering us some fudge. <laughs> and it really annoys me that you haven't. <laughs> Isn't it past your bedtime, Joe? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Way past. Goodness gracious. And they're just staying up to watch Johnny. He'll watch it on videotape from the night before. Oof. That's way too high tech. <laughs> Unless you have grandkids around. Well, he does. He can. He has people that can help. His daughter can help him. Anyway, well, 
did um did you present all your songs to Shmo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The reason he I did all the homework he's gonna because do because I didn't do the homework. I mean, I started it. I should have made a playlist like I did before. I was just gonna point out since I think we're kind of wrapping up that looking back, since this is kind of our year in review episode, since it's just before the end of the year, that we put out an impressive number of episodes this year after a gigantic lull. Because by Eight my count, my, by my count, we put out. Um, I already forgot the count. It's like 16 or 17 episodes this year. How wow. many were post COVID? All of them. All of See? Them. <laughs> so we have COVID to thank for something. <laughs> what do you think we up if we had a bunch on January and February <laughs> skewing the rest we of the year? We didn't even have one. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, no. I th- our first COVID one was like, hey, we haven't <laughs> podcasted in six or eight months. Why don't we? <laughs> We did two episodes in, um, yeah, we did two episodes in 2019, both of which were, it was actually an extended episode from Schmo's Backyard in July of 2019. So it was actually just one recording that I split up into two shows. And then we take a giant leap to April of 2020 with our first Zoom cast. <laughs> July 2019 did... to April 2020. <laughs> Yeah, we yep. did, uh, and then we started doing like episodes <laughs> almost every week. And then and you asked <laughs> which ones, how many were in COVID? <laughs> that kind of slowed down in uh, August or July. July was the last one where we stopped doing multiple episodes. And then we kind of started opening up. Yeah, we kind of <laughs> did like one a and month. Then the, for the August, wave came, and now we did a bunch. September. Yeah. Uh, I guess we didn't do one in October, but we did you see one. a pattern. Well, no, yeah, I guess we did one. We did one in late October that got released in November. Then we did one in late November that got released at the beginning of December. So we're doing two episodes in December now, just so we can put out this final year in review episode. <laughs> and so uh, it's pretty remarkable that, <laughs> that it took uh, a global you know, pandemic to make d- it work. D- during COVID, didn't you? release four books mickey yeah but they we weren't did 17... written during covid yeah well you released them we we have 17 uh podcasts 17 podcasts. 16 or 17 i already forgot the count i thought yeah geez. and uh so we accomplished a lot during covid yeah <laughs> that's and all, it, that's it just goes to show you that it's it's a lot easier to do these zoom chats than it is to find the time and locations to record in person Although right. I hope we don't have to continue doing these Zoom casts because it is fun to see each other. Yeah, but to, we should meet up with each other. Yeah, yeah but should always have logistically. Uh, that's always tougher. But we yeah. should always have this option. But, we uh, we did. I remember driving around doing a podcast. We did. Yeah, we did yes. Skype calls in the past, but not that often. But now, I mean, everybody's so used to doing these these web chats, these video chats, that it really works out well to get these episodes out. And we also had volleyball back in the day like on wednesdays right so yeah, but even to... then it was tough to record because you're right, right. Yeah, shut yeah. up about friggin college basketball and football <laughs> <laughs> i fit in all of all of this stuff in one night tried to and then golf of course but golf has moved far away toward yeah. the wings house mm. now the wings moving away yeah not moving yeah, what that's farther. gonna be like well, geez, look at this. I thought we were going to end at 9.30. So. <laughs> oh, wow. This is a long one. Yeah, it's probably like 10 minutes. I plugged in the laptop. 10, 10 minutes, minutes much of content. Time. But it, it was nice uh, to, to talk, do something different. Yeah, it's the end of the week. year. Yep. Big wrap up. So long That's 2020. Right. And, uh, yeah, and good riddance, happy new year, guys. Yeah, happy new year to you guys. Yeah, it's just tomorrow. Jeez. Well, God, we're gonna have to have a poker sometime. Yeah. We can't do it over Zoom. I got HUD's poker table. Yeah, there's nothing we could do. I mean, that's gotta. I guess wait till everybody gets their shots. But right. Can't you? Isn't there like a uh, a way to do it on some poker site? Yeah, I'm sure there is, but we don't really want to play poker <laughs> anyway. I just want to, I just want to eat, hmm. eat some snacks and drink some beers. Oh, that we could do. 
you know, we could at least play we Indian just do on, this. on Zoom. Well, no, because you see your own, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know if you can blank yourself out. <laughs> I know I can as a host. I'm sure there's some kind of game you could play. Speaking of which, I'm going to take Schmo off the air. There, he's he's no longer showing up. <laughs> now he's back. <laughs> a power play. Wow. <laughs> you took me off the air? Yeah, you didn't show up for a couple seconds because I have that power. I discovered it a couple weeks ago. <laughs> so, in other words, don't mess up, man. Don't piss Mickey off. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I only thought of it now. Here, I'm going to take Schmo off, and I'm going to put him on the top. There, now you're on the top of the screen. He has the power. Yeah, the, I should fool around now that I know they've changed this around a lot. I mean, they've added some more stuff since I really ran a Zoom. My sister always runs our families because she's a teacher, has unlimited, all that stuff. And she's used to doing it. But it's easier to tell her third graders what to do on Zoom than my mom. <laughs> my mom kept doing – Party hat on for the, the – You know, doing this <laughs> and doing this and then – Finally, well, probably uh, Ella. She was borrowing Ella's laptop, and Ella's like, "Pizza, Grandma, Grandma, I got a my pizza laptop's my not a touch screen." <laughs> <laughs> she was doing it forever. I thought uh, I had a party hat on, but I've got a slice of pizza yeah, on my head. It's a pizza head. slice. Where's the party hat? There's a chef. Does look like a, it? Look, could be oh, engineer's hat. No, it's oh, a no, chef's hat. A chef's hat. And I got my uh, Oculus goggles on. So now you look like you're in 3D. Hmm. I don't know why. Here's my alien face. I was trying to find. There's got to be some kind of party hat. Looks like. Uh, yeah, there's the one you had. Plankton. Actually, this is what I should be wearing for the end of the year. I kind of miss that pizza on my head. That's scary. Oh, yeah, that is a good one, Mick. That's a different mustache. I can see why you why you use that mustache. Here's the mustache I was talking about. There. Now I've got my pencil thin mustache. Would you like another glass? <laughs> <laughs> that looks pretty good. Here, here's evil me from the parallel universe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not very dark, huh? Oh, wait, there's an opacity thing. <laughs> the green there hornet. There's an opacity thing on there, so now I've changed it. My mis- my magical mustache, it just fades away. I don't see the mustache. Shall it come back again? Yeah, I don't see those mustaches. They're in Studio Effects Beta. Oh. <laughs> I love the apply this to all Body future star. meetings. We can <laughs> actually want this permanent, especially the lipstick. I like the beard. Oh, I... <laughs> well, we could do this all day, and we are. This oh, is the can't. one I forgot to put this up earlier, but I think this is the one I wanted to start with. Well, then, is there a happy new year? <laughs> my gla- that looks real. I know. <laughs> I like it. I might have. I might try to grow one. Just you leave it for meetings. Just click on that apply to all future meetings thing. <laughs> take a photo of to somehow take a snip of yourself and show Amber. Yeah. What do you think? There we go. That's more like me. Oh, I got a crown. That's the best one. I like it. No, oh, I have to talk to Amber would, about this. Would I ever have this at all? I could never grow this. I think I'm going to leave that on. I like it. I'm going to have to show Amber. I'm going to grow one of these. It is Christmas. Hey, that's right. You usually have a beard right now. I know. Usually I do. But you've been working from home all year. Yes, so I don't yeah. even care. <laughs> you didn't do what you usually do. No. It's not different. It's COVID. When you go that's back it. to the office, gonna... start growing a beard. <laughs> Look how it shows up on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to grow this. I like it. Where's the other mustache? Oh, there it is. There, I like this mustache better. Yeah, I better get a picture of this so I can show Amber. I 
All right. I will go sit on the couch with my wife now. Christmas Eve Eve. New Year's Christmas Eve. Eve? New Year's Eve Eve. That's what I meant. God. Unless you're talking about 2021, then you have to add a lot more eaves. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got a joke to end the year on. No, I said, God bless it. Once again, I did think of that again today. I got to come up with a joke. Then I did something else. I well, watched Wonder Woman. Way to end the year. 2020. <laughs> well, uh, now you ruined here's the it. joke. Thanks, Mo. You, you, you ruined, ruined 2020 20. for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's it was the going joke. So it's been a well. great 2020. And you had to drop the ball in the end. <laughs> what zone. a great year. Like one year. It's one of line. our greatest podcast years, too. Seriously. <laughs> we went video. We did 17 more than one a month. Yeah, we we had so much content and we attracted the same people. Okay. Same person. <laughs> yeah. According to YouTube, we attracted three or four viewers, which I think was just me watching it three or four times. <laughs> you know, I've sure. only watched one of them a little bit. You know, I've always just listened to them <laughs> and the audio podcast. Well, it takes money to not make money. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> um, well, Happy New Year, everybody. Or, yeah. Oh, happy, happy New Year, Year you listener. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks, Schmo. Thanks, Schmo. Oh, seriously, happy New Year! Thank God, twenty twenty one. Yep. Jeez. Hopefully, it'll be this uh, flip a negative of twenty twenty, where we can get back to normal about the time we were not normal last year. Uh, Probably be a little later. But... That would be nice. Yeah. Well, vaccines are getting out there. Slowly but surely. I need to get a job in the medical profession fast. <laughs> yeah, I know. And on that happy note. Yeah, yeah. Happy 2020. <laughs> 2020, gentlemen. Oh, I have a good feeling about next year. I got to take this thing off. I hope you're right. So ridiculous. I like this. I'm, I'm going to grow one. There we go. <laughs> I'm not I'm not seeing the year out with the seriousness that it's that it deserves. Yeah, it really looks like that's Mike. Usually, yeah, has a it full fits. Beard right now. I like it. Wow, how'd you shave so fast? And yeah, now I look younger. Less debonair. <laughs> By that I mean not debonair at all. <laughs> More <Yeah>. derriere. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. All right, gentlemen. Happy New Year. Happy See you New next Year. year. Yeah, see you uh, on the flip side. <laughs> Next year. <laughs> now right. let's watch them sign out. <laughs> I'm going to try my touch screen. Ooh, he did it. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs>